there seems to be an unreasonable amount of disappearances that occur in national parks from around the world. An almost disproportionate amount given any other areas it's compared to regarding visiting populations of any kind. Of course, skeptics may argue that it makes sense for there to be so many disappearances given the fact that national parks are massive, and to the untrained individual could potentially be a death sentence if they happen to get lost. However, this does not appear to be the case. Many people walk into a national park and are never seen or heard from again. This strangeness is compounded when regarding information surrounding the missing hikers and campers. There are many experienced hikers and campers who disappear completely. Some such hikers even laying out plans of travel, backup phones in case of emergency telling family members and friends where their trail will be covering and so on. But when research parties go out to find them not a single clue has been left behind, and it's a mystery as to what happened to them. Between Las Vegas, Reno, and Fresno, there lies an area that's become known as the Nevada Triangle. The most famous triangle is the Bermuda Triangle, but this location has had its fair share of strange happenings. Scientists have said that around 2,000 planes have gone missing in the area. There have also been many people that have gone missing. Some people who have been in this region have come forward with bizarre encounters. One person said that while in the area they were approached by an elderly man. The woman was asking for directions and the man was telling her where to go. At first everything seemed fine but when she turned around to thank the man he was nowhere to be seen. The individual insists that to this day she has no idea where the man went. Then there's the reports of mysterious lights in the sky. For many years now people close to the area have reported mysterious objects in the sky. These unidentified objects usually range in size from 20 to 65 feet and give off bright colours. The strangest thing about these tales is how they suddenly vanish without a trace. One person even reported that one of the objects appeared to follow her. Even after she got in her car, the object stayed in the sky above her. After this encounter, she said she went on to have nightmares for the next few weeks. Whatever is going on in this area seems to be affecting quite a few people. As of right now, most of these encounters remain a mystery. Found in the middle of Siberia's boreal forest is a large opening that was discovered by researchers. It's been named the Gateway to the Underworld. This giant crater is said to be over a mile long, and has a depth of over 400 feet. The forest where this crater is found covers a massive amount of space. It covers an area of over 17 million square kilometers, or 6.6 million square miles. This is over 11.5% of the Earth's land area. According to researchers, this gateway to the underworld is been growing at an annual rate of more than 60 feet. However, there aren't many people that know about this. Of course, this crater isn't actually a gateway to hell, but it's more of a play on words. Scientists have said that because it keeps increasing in width, bad things are likely to happen in the near future. Some researchers have blamed global warming for this happening, and have said that if we don't change our ways, it's going to keep increasing. Interestingly enough, this all happened during the 1990s. An industrial machine was clearing a part of the forest and when they pulled up a tree, they accidentally started a chain of events. Over the past 25 years, as global warming has got worse, it began to buckle the land. What's worrying is that researchers have said that it's very likely more of the land around the crater will buckle in the near future. Scientists are currently carrying on work around the crater to better understand what's going on in the region. This isn't the only discovery that's recently been made in Russia. Over the last 15 years, people keep finding deep holes in Russian forests. They appear in the dense forest where there's no easy access for a car, truck, heavy digging equipment or even people. What's strange is that there doesn't appear to be work going on close by, so people can't understand why they're here. Plus, there's no soil nearby that would indicate the digging has taken place. These holes appear to have been dug out by machine as they're almost perfectly round. According to various sources, when people are brave enough to venture into the holes, they find they end abruptly in the darkness. There are no any reasonable ideas on how these holes got here, and what they're being used for. No one knows who or what is digging these holes or why. So my question to you guys is how and why do you think these deep holes are here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.
The Sun is a giant star that can be found at the heart of our solar system. If we didn't have the Sun's massive amount of energy, there would be no life on our planet. Scientists have figured out that our Sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the Sun. The outside of the Sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core, which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA have said that to match the energy the Sun produces, you would have to set off 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. Recently, NASA announced that a massive solar storm hit our planet in the past. It's thought this occurred around 2,500 to 2,700 years ago, and it's believed to have been 10 times stronger than any solar storm we've recorded in the modern day. According to researchers, these solar storms did used to happen quite often. In fact, it's only due to our magnetosphere that we're kept safe. This protects all life on Earth from most of the particles the Sun emits. Going back thousands of years ago when this massive storm hit our planet, it would have caused radiation issues. Another issue in today's world is the exposure of spacecrafts to these particles. They can shut down electronics and other systems. This high energy could hit our planet at any given time. Scientists have said that our planet is always at risk of being hit with these particles from space. It's interesting to note that these particles are one of the reasons that we see incredible lights at the poles. On the flip side though, although they can look spectacular, they are damaging, messing with GPS signals and radio waves. During early February last year, there was headlines that suggested a solar storm was going to cause havoc around the world. It focused on the fact that our communication system would go down, and this would lead to us not being able to communicate via telephones or computers. However, scientists said this was a big exaggeration. The reason it didn't do damage was because this solar storm wasn't a powerful one. Interestingly, researchers have said that no large solar event has happened during a manned space mission. However, between the Apollo 16 and 17 mission, a large event did happen, but there was no manned mission during this time. If an astronaut was exposed to this solar event, it would have caused radiation sickness. Our moon has been around for billions of years. The moon has been known since prehistoric times, and it's the second brightest object in the sky after the sun. Recently, NASA's Artemis mission showed scientists some strange coloration on the surface of the moon. It was then announced this was due to a form of sunburn. It's well known that our moon has no global magnetic field. Magnetized rocks that can be found close to the surface do have small spots of magnetic fields. Some researchers refer to these as miniature sunscreens. However, the sun rays are deflected away from these areas, and when they hit areas that don't have these sunscreens, it causes a chemical reaction. The end result is a darker surface. The team have said they hope these findings will help to protect astronauts from harmful effects of radiation during future missions. Staying on the subject of the moon, a while back China was making headlines by saying they're going to send an illumination satellite in orbit by 2020. They say it will be bright enough to replace street lamps. Essentially, they want to send an artificial moon in orbit. As you can imagine, this has made many people question why they want to do this. After all, we do have something that lights up the night sky, the moon. Scientists have also questioned why they'd want to do this. So far, not much information has been released about the project, and this has left many wondering where the idea came from in the first place. Some have suggested the idea had been in testing for a few years, and the technology was now in place to make it happen. The China Daily newspaper stated that huge mirrors could be launched by 2022. It's not clear from any reports whether this project has any official backing. The artificial moon would work as a mirror, reflecting sunlight back to the Earth. So far, we don't have any idea how this object will look, but it's thought it won't be small. Reports say the object will orbit 500 kilometers above the Earth. This device is said to be able to reflect sunlight across an area of between 10 kilometers and 80 kilometers. What's worried some people though is that it's been estimated the artificial moon will be eight times as bright as the real moon. It's been said this could have an effect on wildlife and even some people sleep. Some wildlife depend on the moonlight, the reason behind doing this is to save money by cutting back electric bills. This includes saving money on things like street lamps. 
It's been estimated that by constructing this artificial moon it could save China up to £132 million a year. So what do you guys make of this idea? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Scientists estimate there's over 390,000 species of plants currently on our planet. Around 95% of these are flowering plants. Incredibly, what some may not be aware of is that over 2,000 new plant species are discovered every year. However, researchers say that most of these will likely become extinct within the next few years, further saying that around 20% of plants that we're aware of are likely going to become extinct within the next 20 years. It's no secret that when we go about our everyday lives we forget about the importance of plants. Many of us pass them every day, but they play an essential role in keeping many different organisms alive, including us. We need them for food, water and the air we breathe. Not only this, but they provide a home for smaller species that most of us don't see. A larger tree, for example, can provide a home for thousands of species of insects. Not only this, but they also provide food for larger creatures like deer, badgers and bats. One plant that's recently made headlines over the years has become known as the Devil's Fingers. You may have seen pictures of them posted across social media, and that's because they have a really distinctive look. They can be found in the United States where they go by the name of octopus fungus. Researchers have said that due to temperatures rising across the globe these organisms will become more common. Even in the last few years people living in the United Kingdom have noticed an increase in them. One of the first things you notice is their appearance, and if that doesn't catch your eye its awful smell is guaranteed to grab your attention. The devil's fingers can be found all across the world, and it's been compared to an alien by some people. This strange looking fungi comes to life when it bursts from a translucent egg-like sac. One of the first things you will see is the four to seven long fleshy fingers. It doesn't take long for this fungi to reach maturity, and when it does people have said that it has a smell similar to rotting flesh. It's one of the ways that you know this plant is nearby. Some have even gone as far as saying that they can't be in the air of one of these plants for more than a few seconds. From the looks of this fungi you would expect it to be poisonous, but it's actually not. However, it's advised to stay away from them due to its terrible smell, and it even makes some people feel nauseous. These organisms are part of a family of bad-smelling funguses known as stinkhorns. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.